if you've been watching the gear bunker, you know, you probably recognize this truck. It's been all over the place and we have been trying different things, whether it be suspension, tires, rooftop tents, traction boards, bed racks and whatnot. And we've got quite a bit of room. It's a, it's a good sized truck. It's a Tundra. So we've got a bunch of stuff in the back here, this stuff mounted on top, but we still have this entire real estate up here on top of the roof. And that's where Yakima Racks comes in. And they've got a new product that uh, they sent out for me to test on top here. Well, we're gonna take a look at it. Now our family's been Yakima fans for a long time. And this golf behind me has got a roof rack that carries bikes and skis. My wife's SUV back there has a sky box that we carry our skis in in the winter. And uh, really didn't have anything for the truck. So what Yakima did now that they came out with some overland specific items, they sent out the lock and load heavy duty rooftop platform along with the appropriate baseline towers, clips, aero bars or jet stream bars, a fairing to block the wind, and then uh, overland related stuff. Top grip to carry a shovel, recovery track mounts, jerry can holder, high lift jack carrier, spare, spare wheel, wheel holder. So we're in good shape and we've got a, a boatload of stuff to get into. And the dimensions, I believe, of this lock and load is 60 inches by 54 inches. And when I saw that it came in a box this size, I realized I can only mean one thing, some assembly required. So let's get to it. All right, well, as you can see, condensed down to a mere 20 seconds. I know it took about 45 minutes to do, but that's what it took to put together uh, assembly of the lock and load 56 by 60 platform. So the next step from here is doing the crossbars on the truck. And at that point, once the crossbars are on, we will set the platform on top and secure that down. And then we'll start putting on some accessories and uh, see what this whole thing looks like. Up next is the installation of the towers and bars on the Tundra before we install the lock and load platform. And I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown here. So the crossbars and the towers are two separate things that need to be connected together. And when you go on Yakima's website, they give you a good indication Basically on the bottom of these bars are measurement incre increments and you can get the baseline measurements for your vehicle, making the attachment of the tower to the bar pretty easy. And then you have vehicle specific clips right here. They fit the profile of your vehicle. These have actually two different clips front to rear because of the profile of the door. And once you insert those up in there and use these two adjustment screws, to get them snugged up. The tower is mounted to the vehicle securely. You're done with that step. I need to get some locks for these. And then um, installation of the fairing. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is a whistling uh, roof rack system. So Yakima sent me this fairing to try and mitigate some of that by letting the airflow come up, up and over this. And that's pretty easy, easy install too. Uh, these bands right here kind of fit around the arrow bar pretty well. And then you basically just put a, uh, a supplied screwdriver in here and tighten it just like you would a, like a stainless steel hose clamp. And it just kind of tightens this up and takes to the contour of the bar. So installation of that only took a couple of minutes. Up next is getting that rack up here and that's going to take an extra set of hands now that we're up on the roof we're going to actually attach these brackets to the crossbar so basically like i showed you before these are the two pieces this is going to go underneath the crossbar that's going to fit on and then we're going to do a washer and a nut All right, 
the nice thing about these, they, they pivot on these two screws so you'll be able to level them off nice and level when you get ready to set the lock and load platform on there. All right, now we got all four of the mounts on the crossbars secured. You can see here, two on the left, two on the right. And next is getting this thing up there and secured. All right, I've had a couple days now with the Yakima lock and load rack on the on the Tundra, and so far it's been pretty good. Um, some of the attachments that I have on here are the traction board attachment, as you can see over there, as well as the paddle slash shovel attachment on the very end. I usually keep the recovery gear close to the driver's side, so once I get out, I can quickly get to it, especially if I'm in a a wet environment or a muddy environment. I can stand on the rock sliders and get to that stuff um, pretty easily. Over here on this side, we've got the jerry can attachment and uh, I'll talk a little bit more on that. I've got some thoughts on this. Um, right now, this would not fit out, out the garage door. This is too tall. So I've got to leave this off until I get outside before I, before I load that. But Overall, the, the lock and load platform is super versatile. You can, there's various attachments that you can put on here. Um, and they use these, these slats that go along here, all have uh, a groove in the middle of it with these little openings to fit mounting points through. And just for ease of display, I'm gonna show you one of the um, tie down loops. So it's just got a you know, square piece of metal that'll fit inside that T-slot opening and you slide it into the narrow area and tighten it down and there you go. All right, this is the Yakima jerry can holder that mounts to the lock and load platform. And for the most part, I, I like it. It's definitely a, a high profile deal. You can see it's almost touching the ceiling there. So I gotta take the water can out before I attempt to leave the garage door. But um, I did wanna comment quickly on the, the mechanism that, that latches it down. So the rack itself has two steel loops and they provide you with this strap. It's a ratchet strap that has a very unique clasp down here. It's kind of a, it's gonna be hard for me to do one-handed, but. Okay, so this is the deal right here. So this J hook right here by my finger is gonna fit through the, the steel loop like this. And this secondary buckle right here is going to fit over the top of it. So when you pull tension, it basically kind of locks it in place. My I may end up uh, switching that just to a regular, you know, uh, like a, a ratchet strap. Not, not one with the, you know, it's just hook, hooks on either end. So then it's just easier for me to one hand that and slide it up through the handle. But other than that, all the, uh, all the attachments are really rock solid. Everything is super secure on the roof. I, I'd feel comfortable putting anything up there, including I've got two sea kayaks. I've got mine over here and my wife's over here. And I think that with the, the Yakima kayak uh, attachments, you know, if I just mount one, you know, a pair on the front and a pair on the very back of this, it'll give me like a 57 inch spread between the two, uh, the saddles, and that is a little bit wider than where I have these hanging straps, which is a pretty ideal location to support a Kevlar boat like that. So all in all, I think we, we'd we be able to mount our rooftop tent, mount two kayaks uh, on the very back. I have a hold up Evo that uh, holds a couple of mountain bikes. So the Yakima system basically just lets you 
get outside and, and tackle any adventure that you're up to. So check out Yakima.com and all the various attachments that go with the new lock and load platform. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got videos like this coming up uh, every week. And uh, check out our website at thegearbunker.com. Like us on Facebook and Instagram, and you will be in touch with all the latest and greatest gear. So we will see you on the trail.